The peace of the Lord dear brothers, I am here to report a dream that I had from God, my name is Carla Lassiter, now I'm here to pass on to the brothers the dream that I had sleeping in my bed, I was sleeping when my spirit got out of my body, I stay looking at my body lying on the bed, then I heard the voice of the spirit telling me, come, I will show you my chosen ones, when I heard that voice inside mine spirit I knew it was the Holy Spirit, I might as well think it was the Son, right? Whether it's Jesus Christ or the Father and the Spirit, He is God. He took me right there to show me the chosen ones, shortlisted for the rapture of the church, the Lord clearly spoke to me and told me, do you know who's going up in the rapture and who's gonna be left behind, those that will be rapture are the believers who will remain faithful to the end, and those who live life in my presence remaining and faithful until the end, the Lord Jesus the Almighty God knows who is and who is not chosen washed and redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, the Holy Spirit got my spirit out of there and my spirit was in the middle of the street at the edge of a field, and I saw there a person on the edge of the field, which was my grandma, she was still alive, she was working on that field that had a tank right in her backyard, and she was there doing the laundry rubbing her clothes in the tank, the Holy Spirit spoke and told me, I have chosen her, she went through hard times but she has been faithful, she never stopped being faithful to me, the Holy Spirit told me, come, I will show you someone else, immediately I was taken to another place, in the next location the Holy Spirit show me a lady, the Spirit told me she never stopped praying, a woman of prayer that has built closeness and intimacy with me because of consecration in prayer, the lady resigns from the things of this world to be able to be in my presence she has lost many things in her life to be able to serve me, she has left out a lot, she has renounced many things to serve me, so she is one of the chosen for the rapture, and the spirit took me on another location where there was a family, where I saw a child and her mother and the husband, and the spirit told me, I have chosen the father for my rapture, he has been sincere in my presence, and then he took me to a store where he showed me another person, who was my father who is a Sunday school teacher, and he was there at the store talking to a customer at his store, the Holy Spirit said I have chosen him for my rapture because he has been faithful preaching my word in truth, he has not modernized my word and has not changed my word, he has not preached the gospel and doctrine of prosperity, he has preached what I have sent him to preach, he has preached the renunciation gospel, he has preached fidelity and has preached holiness and justice, I have called him in this land to confuse those who think highly of themselves and those who think they are righteous, Bakshi Uli my father live in the presence of the Lord, he has no great titles, and really he has more wisdom, the Holy Spirit said that he is faithful in teaching his word and preach the word, he has not distorted nor modified nor modernized the gospel, when I thought about asking any question in my mind the Holy Spirit already knew what I was wanting and thinking, he said, you will just observe and he took me to places, I just observed obey the command of the Holy Spirit right, and then afterward the Holy Spirit took me home, telling me, if you remain faithful you will also be with me in that great day of the rapture in the air, because I have also have chosen you for the rapture, it is necessary you remain faithful and continue in position where you are called, go even further, you can do better for what you have done is not enough in terms of what I'm seeking from you, you have given up certain things because of God, remember it is written, for whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it, what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world, yet forfeits his soul? or what can a man give in exchange for his soul, whoever loves his life will lose it, but whoever hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life, many are busy with terrestrial life and routine instead of life on their knees in my presence, you must bend your knees and be fasting in my presence in anticipation of the great day of the sound of the trumpet, be connected day by day, many watchmen have left my presence to be everywhere in wedding parties week by week, which has nothing to do with the preparation of the bride, and we are not against wedding party, but sometimes when we have one appointment at the Lord's house people are more excited to attend birthday and wedding party, then we abandon go to the Lord's house because of the wedding party I want to quickly share with you an experience, which I had in 2017, but until now I told few people about it, 
but as soon as I meet with my pastor and people that are so close but I believe the time has come for me talk about it because I just saw on the internet a child writing the same dream as me, which I had in 2017. The sky was very blue, there was no cloud in the sky, I dreamed that I was talking to my sister as usual, I looked at the sky that was clean, then a cloud appeared in the sky and it was a dense, I saw that the cloud was moving and seemed like a portal, at that moment I saw millions and countless scintillating angels appearing, I kept watching and I examined these radiant angels, as they move right and left, and they were standing there ready, looking at people and they stay like the eyes of the heavens, suddenly I saw Jesus appearing in the middle of those angels, the Lord stood before millions of scintillating celestial angels, in the twinkling of an eye, I saw these bright angels descend from the clouds coming down to the land, when I turned to the earth I saw God angels rapturing the saints, an angel came close to my sister, and the angel put his hand on my sister on her head, and then the angel made the sign of approval, at that moment my sister went all white and was changed, for the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed, for the perishable must be clothed with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality, another angel arrived and he also put his hand on my heart and my head, and he nodded and made a of approval for my garments thank God was white, I was changed like my sister, the Lord Jesus Christ will transform our lowly body to be like his glorious body, by the power that enables him even to subject all things to himself, I went through change but this was not the case for the man who was on the side, and today I already passed this message to him, thank God he is firm with Jesus today, but it is this year that he came close to him, his garment were filthy at the time when the angel came to rapture him, I saw the angel of the Lord making a sign of disapproval after scanning his robe that was stained with sin, this friend started to scream desperately as he learned that he would stay behind, millions of angels of God were rapturing those who had kept their garment clean, then I woke up and I was touched. The Lord had spoken to us that he's coming back and that we have to be aware, we must be attentive, even if he does not come back now there's no problem, we have to be vigilant all the time as if he would come back now, you know we have to be aware that God has given dreams God has given visions and God have spoken, you know and we have to be aware brothers because if God speaks and warn, God does not gonna catch anyone by surprise for God is speaking. God is warning us and signaling one more time, if you're diverted away from the presence of the Lord, leave your sin fix yourself, note that these things on earth will not give you satisfaction, we will take nothing from the earth with us, you know because the more the people gather things in this land the more they are empty because only God fills us, only the Lord presence that can fill us, we have the rapture promise, but we have to be prepared for any time the Lord can come will he find us prepared to be raptured and so we can join him in the air. Church, this is what I wanted to speak to you about, stay in the peace of the Lord Jesus Amen, thank you so much.